Welcome everyone for today's update. I went ahead and finally ordered a Raspberry Pi. This may look a little bit late to this party, but as you've seen in an earlier video, we have other ARM and MIPS boards here and professional embedded stuff and such. But I thought uh, not only would it be nice for people playing along at home to have a more affordable off-the-shelf ARM or MIPS board as such for playing along with T2, I also wanted to do something specific with this in a month or two. So I wanted to unpack this and give it a try. And also, obviously we always had ARM T2 builds and binaries around. I already built a lightest trunk specifically for this core. So this Raspberry Pi Zero is a cost and size down version. And I think the sock is similar to the very first Raspberry Pi or something. So connector wise we have the SD card slot, mini HDMI, Two USB ports, maybe one only works as host side, maybe also here for power. Here it's written USB, their power, so maybe device side only, camera connector, and some Wi Fi chip somewhere there, USB connected. And by the way, awesome manufacturing here with a PCB cut like this, probably what to expect from a five, if not ten US dollar. Board depending if Wi-Fi or not. We also got this head compatible header thing here to solder pin headers or directly as well as some LED indicator. So of course really nice for tinkering for embedded stuff your own internet of things that do not suck and yeah spy devices hide somewhere control things stick or glue it somewhere and things like this. Let's power it up and do some nice things with it in the future. I do not want to mess around with the kernel bit and such immediately for first test I DD'd here, I copied the Debian light release here to this SD card that goes in here. I ordered this kit actually from this Pi Heart thing just to have this complete. Always good to have another USB OTG adapter in the house. Micro HDMI also may not have had head unless it came with a camera or something. And yeah, some pin headers. Of course, buying it at a regular electronic store is slightly cheaper, but whatever. The problem is that you can't find the zero so often, and if you find it, then it actually is not that cheap. The original five dollar or so, or five British pound thing, was is power in, so probably this USB is power in, and. Even the original five British pound a dollar what it was was nearly impossible to find. I wanted to get a five dollar one already for a year. They were always sold out and whatsoever. So this is a ten or so Wi-Fi version with this additional accessory stuff. Let's plug in some display and keyboard or so and see what this does. Actually this booted way faster than I thought. Was immediately resizing the root file system with some text mode. Wonder can we plug in this USB? Then next I could actually test my T2 binaries and build a matching ARM kernel. That's slightly annoying. That usually until recently, until this ARM device tree stuff and such, you always had to build a hundred percently perfectly matching Linux kernel just for this hardware with all the hard coded addresses and such for other devices. So let's check what the root password actually is supposed to be. So pi and raspberry. So sudo I by the way I find it slightly amusing that on relatively fast machines this kernel frame buffer scrolling is still that slow. Anyway, okay, so guess no x on this light image, right? Which still is one gigabyte or so compressing the whole file system on the data center and then are syncing it here to the Raspberry Pi Zero. Data center cross compiled ARM compressed to 338 megabyte and the joy of Wi Fi with one megabyte or even less per second. And why I prefer wired Ethernet connections. Heck, even old vintage Unix machines would rather this with 8 megabyte or nearly 10. Finally, extracting it. And at least change routing early here into the system. This 
DiteLibc based PDKSA works. Let's see when we get a bash. Glibc also works. Obviously takes a bit to load the binaries from this SD card that is currently under heavy I.O. load. So that is latest T2 chunk compiled for this ARM, cross-compiled even. And the next days we will also have more tinkering fun with this, maybe even going step by step how to cross-compile such a system with T2, as well as just packaging and compiling that kernel as needed for the Raspberry Pis. And I hope you liked this video and learned something, and to see you soon for the next videos to come. Now we have bash, all the libraries arrived, so that also works.